Hi everyone, it's 8 o'clock here. I'm Storm Tracker Meteorologist Mike Rollins in the Weather Center and of course it is snowing, a winter storm bearing down on Montana following weeks here of uh, very quiet weather mild, dry conditions. Uh, winter weather has finally returned to the Treasure State. We've got a lot to talk about tonight. I uh, want to take you first to something that has probably uh, just uh, gone off on your phone if you have our Storm Tracker weather app, uh, and that is the brand new winter storm warning. Uh, we had a winter storm warning for the High Line, and now we have a winter storm warning for Great Falls or Cascade County, Judith Basin County, Marr County, and Fergus County. So we just saw the warning expanded uh, into uh, several more counties. Now, uh, at this point, Teton County, Lewis and Clark County, you're still under the winter weather advisory. Nonetheless, it is still going to be snowing uh, as we go into the overnight hours tonight. Let's start off. Here's a live look right now in Great Falls. The snow is light, but the roads are a mess. So if you're going to be driving tonight, Make sure that you allow plenty of extra time. We've already heard of one uh, extrication uh, injury accident just outside of Great Falls. We've had numerous reports of uh, semis sliding off the highways around the area. Temperature right now in Great Falls, 26 degrees. Visibility is down to 2.5 miles. We'll get you uh, to our other ICAM in Great Falls, and you can see here, uh, same story. Lots of snow coming down. Visibility is tough out there because of the snow. Let's move on here to Helena. Uh, Helena, you're not in the snow just yet. You're going to get in on the snow later tonight, if not into Tuesday uh, and Wednesday. So you've got to wait a little bit before you start to see that snow coming in. Lewistown, we've got light snow coming down. It's 26 right now. Uh, you can see with that west wind there at about 10 that it feels like 18. McDonald Pass, slick and snow covered right now. Uh, you can see the snow starting to add up here on Highway 12. We've got the snow coming down at Great Divide. We've got the snow coming down at Showdown. So let's look at the radar. I want to give you an idea of what we're looking at right this moment, and I'll zoom in here across central Montana. We have seen this band of snow develop here uh, really from west to east, and we've got what we call banding going on in here where we're getting some enhanced snowfall rates, and unfortunately, this is happening right across Highway uh, 87, Highway 89, and I-15, some of those main routes that we're driving here, uh, and it has been very slow going because uh, of this snow adding up in these areas. Thanks to everyone that's asking their questions right now. Good evening, Jim, uh, to you in Lewistown there. Elizabeth's asking about what's the prediction for snow levels in Belt. Uh, well, we're expecting anywhere from about a half a foot to a foot of snow uh, out toward Belt and into the Little Belt Mountains here. Uh, Sue said it was nasty in Haver earlier today. We were certainly monitoring that snow as it was coming through there. Uh, and so lots of snow uh, coming in there. Robin says Merry Christmas to everyone. Merry Christmas to you, Robin. We're glad to have you here tonight. All right, let's talk about what you want to talk about, and that's the snow and how much snow we're going to be getting uh, as we go into the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. And this is uh, one of our forecast models, and it's snow prediction uh, for the next 48 hours through Tuesday, through Wednesday, and what I'm going to do is give this another run here just so we have the, uh, the latest information coming in here because I want you to see uh, exactly how much snow that we're thinking uh, from this particular storm and um, give you a better idea of uh, snow amounts uh, with this here. And here we go. Let me get that uh, rolling out. And here we are. We are talking about some uh, pretty hefty snowfall totals, of course, uh, right here across central Montana. Great Falls, 3 to 5 inches, uh, 5 to 8 inches there in, in much of Fergus County, Lewistown. Judith Basin County, you're going to be anywhere from about 3 to 8 inches of snow as well. And then on the High Line, uh, I could see some of these areas picking up as much as a foot of snow. Cutbank to Haver to Glasgow. You may not get up to that 8, 9, 10 inch mark, but I still think we're going to see some pretty significant snow coming down in this area uh, through Wednesday. Just updated the Mountain Pass forecast as well, and I wanted to show you that because uh, these snow amounts are almost astronomical. Marias Pass, Highway 2, 36 to 48 inches of snow through Wednesday, 3 to 4 feet. 
two to three feet of snow for Kings Hill Pass. Showdown is going to get dumped on, which is good news for skiers and boarders, bad news for anyone that has to drive over 89. About a foot for Rogers Pass and a little bit less there uh, or lesser amounts uh, for McDonald Pass and certainly over Boulder Hill. We've got a lot going on in terms of, uh, again, those snow amounts in these areas. So let's talk about specific areas here. We'll start with the Rocky Mountain Front. Um, and we're looking at, uh, uh, again, as you get closer to the mountains, heavier amounts of snow here, 5 to 8 inches of snow for Dutton. And then as you work your way up toward Valier, 8 to 12 inches there, 8 to 12 for Pendroy, 8 to 12 for Cutbank, and then a foot and a half to 2 feet of snow for Browning, 2 to 3 feet of snow for Hart Butte. So that is certainly uh, going to be a mess trying to drive through. So we are certainly going to get our white Christmas this year, but let's all remember how to drive through the snow, because I think that's going to be the toughest part of this, is that, uh, again, we are dealing with some very slick roads out there. Roads are snow-covered, roads are slick, and this is going to be a problem not just tonight, but when you head out in the morning, when you go out for lunch tomorrow afternoon, when you're driving home from work tomorrow evening, we're still going to be dealing with slick, snow-covered roads, because additional snow uh, is going to be coming down in many of these areas. Sarah is asking what the roads will look like across the state by Friday and Saturday. Sarah, there's another storm on the way, so we'll get a break Thursday, and then we're tracking another storm for Friday, and that storm will likely drop another half foot of snow on many areas. So once we clear the roads from this first winter storm, we're going to be tracking the next storm on the way here as we get into Friday. So just ahead of the big travel period, more snow coming our way here, so we're getting ready for that. Um, as we look here, uh, Linda says hello from Duck Lake near Bab, about five inches of snow there. We are also getting in some new reports here uh, from other folks. Cutbank here uh, has picked up, uh, where did that report go? Cutbank, uh, four inches of snow there at Cutbank, and that was as of 5.30. We've gotten two inches of snow in Haver as of 6.30. Uh, we don't have an official measurement in Great Falls, but uh, just glancing out the back door here, I would say about an inch, inch and a half so far. The problem is initially some of that melted and then froze over. And so now, of course, we're dealing with ice top, uh, topped by snow. And that has made it very rough uh, on the ro uh, roads there. Uh, Jared James says, you rule. Thanks so much. Uh, uh, thanks for joining us here tonight. Uh, Kathy says, uh, please drive safely. Of course, we want uh, uh, everyone to know that uh, conditions are going to be kind of rough. Uh, as we go through the next uh, a few days. So certainly be prepared uh, for the snow to be coming down. Conditions are going to be kind of a mess here off and on uh, as we roll through uh, the next uh, a few days. And so just kind of be ready for that. Uh, let's, uh, if you have a question, don't forget to post it here. And I'll try to answer that as we continue on uh, with our, our Q&A here in the next uh, few minutes or so. Uh, we'll just keep talking about uh, everything that's going on here. Whoa, I look quite orange. That's interesting. Let's see if we can. Now I look like. Now it looks cold in here. Of course, we have heating trouble in the studio anyway. So, um, it's either incredibly warm in here or incredibly cold. So, uh, there we go. Maybe a little bit more normal there. Let's get you to some of the graphics here uh, and show you again. Uh, if you're going to be traveling uh, on Tuesday, of course, it's going to be snowing widespread snow. Uh, Sarah says I look purple. All right. It's pink, purple, orange, I'd, oompa loompa. I look like everything tonight. Uh, so here we go. Travel forecast. Of course, across the state, it's going to be snow for Tuesday. So we're going to be dealing with that. As you get out toward uh, Washington State, Oregon, uh, the Cascades are going to be getting in on the snow, but it's going to be rain at the coast. Moving on to Wednesday, of course, we're still getting the snow across Montana. The snow is going to move a bit farther east and south into Idaho, Wyoming, and into North Dakota, and also a little bit more widespread snow for Oregon, uh, except, again, if you're along the coast, it's mainly going to be rain. Thursday, a break from the snow across the Treasure State. Good news if you're going to be driving on Thursday, and then on Friday, We've got another round of snow on the way, and again, this storm could bring us another, uh, say, maybe three to six inches of snow as we go into Friday and Friday night. So if you're trying to get out of town for the big holiday, uh, just be prepared because the snow is really uh, going to be adding up here. 
Here's a look at the temperature forecast, because this is another part of the weather story. We're going from highs in the 40s and 30s to the 20s, to the teens, to the single digits. This is Great Falls. Through the next seven days, it is going to get cold here as we roll into the weekend and early next week. Helena, same story for you. Still close to 40 tomorrow, then 20s, teens, single digits as we go into Christmas. So get ready for that cold air to start uh, moving back in here. It's going to be looking and feeling like winter all over again uh, across the Treasure State. So we'll get ready for that. Again, we're keeping an eye here on those uh, winter storm warnings that we have in effect. Uh, those were just expanded. If you have our Storm Tracker weather app on your smartphone, uh, many of you have that. I know that you use it a lot. We've got a lot of uh, faithful viewers there. Here's our Storm Tracker weather app. And just within the last uh, few minutes or so, uh, we saw a brand new winter storm warning. In fact, it says it at the top of the screen. Oh, maybe we can't see that. Uh, it's kind of difficult to see. But winter storm warning just issued uh, for uh, Cascade County, Judith Basin County, uh, and Fergus County, and Marr County uh, until 2 o'clock on Wednesday. Uh, so we're expecting as much as uh, two feet of snow on Kings Hill Pass, uh, and uh, we're looking at uh, some pretty heavy snow also for Great Falls. I'm still thinking three to five inches, but I may up that to five to eight inches. I'm going to look over some new data before the 10 o'clock news, and then I'll reevaluate that. We'll talk about uh, updated snow amounts coming up uh, again uh, for the 10 o'clock news here. But uh, there's the winter storm warning, the newly expanded winter storm warning here. Uh, that, uh, again, does include Great Falls over to Lewistown, Cutbank, and Haver. Uh, it is going to be a nightmare trying to drive, especially on Highway 89 and across Highway 87. So just be prepared for that here as we go uh, uh, into Tuesday, into Wednesday. The roads are just going to get uh, uh, pretty messy. You can continue to ask your questions here on our live feed. Let me scroll down. Here we go. Anne's asking about how much snow in Helena on Tuesday. Uh, it, and for Helena, it's going to be Tuesday into Wednesday uh, for that snow uh, as we go into uh, mainly Tuesday, Wednesday. Again, we're going to be dealing with uh, some of that snow there. Um, tonight may be a little bit of a rain-snow mix. Right now, it's not looking like... Um, we're going to be getting a ton of snow in Helena. I'm still in that one to three inch range there. Uh, Sarah's asking which direction will be the worst. By far, uh, northwest Montana. If you're trying to get to Kalispell, if you're trying to get to Whitefish over Highway 2, um, you're going to be dealing with the worst conditions uh, on Highway 2. In fact, I would not even advise trying to drive Highway 2. Plows are going to have a tough time trying to keep up with the snowfall rates, which are going to be approaching two to three inches per hour there. Uh, looking into northwest uh, Montana there uh, as well. Um, road closures, Melissa asking about road closures on Marias Pass. So far, we've not gotten any reports of road closures. In fact, let me double check here uh, that we haven't uh, seen any of that as I switch computers. Um, as far as I know, we have not seen anything from the Department of Transportation um, talking about road closures at this time. What I do know is that a semi... Um, it went off the road about a half mile west of Silver Stairs Falls, uh, and that semi is now being pulled out. It's being retrieved, uh, and so there is some lane blockage there on Highway 2, uh, and that was that happened earlier. And so we're going to be you know monitoring that uh, to see how how uh, crews are, are following that. Just wanted to give you an update here on I-15. This is milepost 356. Uh, it's about two miles south of the Marias Interchange. A semi-truck um, has uh, gone off the, the interstate there, off I-15, blocking the southbound passing lane of I-15. Uh, and so we're down to one lane there uh, on I-15. And so we're monitoring that uh, as well. And, of course, we've got, uh, I don't know if you can hear in the background, but our newsroom uh, working very hard here to bring you the latest information on crashes, on incidents, road closures, road uh, conditions across our area. Shannon and Tim uh, and our team there in the newsroom are going to have the very latest for you coming up here uh, on the, uh, the uh, 10 o'clock news. So we'll, per we'll uh, of course, be ready uh, for that. Uh, as we go uh, into the uh, next few hours. But a lot happening here uh, as we continue to monitor uh, the, the snow uh, that is still coming down 
across central Montana. We're getting a little bit of banding happening, some intense bands of snow uh, that have set up here. In fact, uh, let me get you, eventually let me get you back here uh, to the um, radar, although I lost my feed over here. Stand by. Let me get back to that. Hello. Uh, let me get you, eventually let me get you back here uh, to the, uh, we got problems all over the place. All right. Let's go back to uh, the computer and we'll take a little tour here uh, through Great Falls. It's cold out there. It's snowing. Here's another view in Great Falls. The roads are a mess throughout Cascade County. Helena, you haven't gotten in on the snow yet. It's coming. Lewistown, you've seen some snow. In fact, the roads are covered. You can see those covered roads right in there. So got to take it easy on the road. You're down to 26 as well. So it's going to be freezing uh, if you're getting the snow there. McDonald Pass, snow covered and icy. It is snowing at Great Divide. I can tell you it is snowing at Showdown. And here we go on the radar. You're looking right now at the Storm Tracker Doppler network here, our network of radars across the state. And uh, we've had some intense banding of snow right in here. You can see these darker blue colors on your screen. This is where the snow has really been piling up um, over the last couple of hours. And here's what's going on. Let me paint it on for you. There is a, a cold front uh, that is sitting right in here. There's the front. We have cold air trying to move down out of Canada. At the same time, we've got warmer air that's sitting down here to the south. And where the two are meeting up together along this front, uh, we're, we have something called frontogenesis occurring, uh, or, or which would be the development of a front. And we've got intense snow developing. The air is being forced to rise. And that's why we're getting this intense banding of the snow, snowfall rates of one or two inches of snow per hour. And that's why it's adding up so quickly uh, in that area. And that's why we have increased the snow totals uh, across central Montana. And that's why we're also thinking, again, uh, that the roads are going to be a mess here for Tuesday and Wednesday. Alexis uh, says, uh, thank you for all the effort. Absolutely, that's you know what we're here for. Uh, Tom is asking the long-term duration of this snow event, two or three days. Tom, this snow will end Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening, and then another storm arrives for Friday. How are the roads going to be from Helena to Missoula? The roads are going to be very slick. I think you're going to have better uh, luck there at lower elevations, but as you're going up higher and higher, uh, the snow is really going to be piling up. In fact, Seeley Lake picking up about a foot of snow here in the next couple of days uh, as well. Linda says Duck Lake is frozen with about six inches of ice on it right now. Uh, as we continue to, you know, with the colder air in place here and the snow starting to really add up here. Tom's uh, asking what is it looking like from Lincoln to Great Falls. Uh, his son is coming home from Missoula. You're going to see uh, some of the, uh, the heavy snow tonight and tomorrow uh, on Rogers Pass, so uh, look out because it is going to be very heavy uh, on Rogers Pass at times. We've already seen that. Sarah's asking, will this affect the Dakotas? North Dakota will get in on some of this, especially on Wednesday, we think. Uh, so snow coming down there as well. Wanda's asking what it's going to be like around Roy, Montana. We're going to be getting the snow there, about uh, three to eight inches of snow. It's a wider range there. There are uh, some factors that could play into uh, whether or not you get into the heavier stuff here. Snow is stopped in Cutbank. Lisa says that it's uh, cut off there uh, for right now. Sharon's asking about Shoto. Uh, still thinking about uh, five to eight inches of snow for Shoto uh, through Wednesday uh, as well. Glacier County. Wind for Glacier County. Uh, Leland's asking about that. I do think the wind will pick up on Wednesday uh, right in Glacier County. We could see gusts 20 to 30 miles per hour, so there are going to be some blowing and drifting snow concerns there uh, uh, as well. Mary says it's good time to stay home uh, by the fire. Absolutely. Uh, so just get out the, you know, if you've got the fire, crank up the furnace maybe a little bit and enjoy that here. Uh, Kim's asking about Great Falls to Fort Benton. It is extremely slow going right now. It is snow covered on 87 from Great Falls to Fort Benton. I would advise holding off on driving uh, to Fort Benton or back and forth uh, until we can clear up some of the snow there and we can get the uh, crews out on the roads here overnight 
MDT crews are out, by the way. Uh, they've got a full fleet out working the uh, snow right now, uh, working to clear the roads, but uh, it's going to take some time to keep up with it, especially with those one to two inch per hour snowfall rates that we're seeing there. Um, what's the low tonight uh, in Haver? Sarah is uh, asking about that. Uh, let me just flip over really quick and uh, actually look. I don't have Haver's number memorized. I know, I know. Uh, 25 tonight uh, for Haver, and then uh, for Haver tomorrow, the high is just about 28, so steady temperatures almost all day long. Uh, Missoula to Great Falls on Wednesday. Cindy, uh, take it easy. It's going to be slow going there, especially through Rogers Pass. Some of that final snow works its way through. Uh, uh, as we go through there. Mile City, less snow there, an inch to three inches of snow uh, for Mile City through this entire storm. Jim says it's snowing in Wyndham right now. No wind, good news, 24 degrees there on his thermometer. <clears throat> Missoula to Browning on Christmas Eve. Helen, uh, I, I think crews will have had time to clear some of the roads by then. Remember, we've got another storm on the way for Friday. This is not the only storm uh, that we've got coming our way here. Carolina's asking about Great Falls snow predictions, still going with three to five inches. I'll be looking at some new data here in the next couple of hours. I could up that to five to eight. Um, but nonetheless, the roads are just going to be kind of messy, snow covered and slick. So I want you to just be prepared for that. Uh, tomorrow and again Wednesday. James is asking for the Bab and St. Mary area. We're thinking right now anywhere from about a foot to two feet of snow, uh, maybe even up to three feet of snow in the, the uh, uh, St. Mary and Bab area right along the Rocky Mountain front. Miles City and Baker, Kayla's asking. Uh, we're thinking again lower amounts out there, one to three inches of snow on the uh, eastern edge of the state. So here's a look at that snow forecast one more time. Uh, and you can see here, again, the heaviest snow is going to be on the High Line and up and down the Rocky Mountain front where we could see three to four feet of snow uh, and um, dealing with some of that uh, there. Tom says, a friend of his says uh, that Lincoln has about eight inches of snow so far. Uh, it has certainly been coming down in the mountains all day long and it's going to continue overnight. It's going to continue Tuesday and it'll continue into Wednesday. So uh, it is about 822. Uh, of course, it's going to be a very busy night uh, here in the Storm Tracker Weather Center as we look at new model data and then update our forecast. I'm going to be doing that here in the next hour and a half as we prepare for the 10 o'clock news. I hope you'll join us and stay up late because I'll have brand new information on this winter storm. I'm going to be looking at some new data here and then update that snow forecast as we go into into uh, not only Tuesday and Wednesday, uh, but we've got that other storm, the next storm on the way here for Friday. So a lot to talk about leading up to Christmas, uh, along with the uh, very cold air that's going to be moving in as well. So I am going to sign off here for you uh, and work on uh, updating the forecast uh, for the 10 o'clock news. And of course, I hope you'll uh, tune in because we're going to be talking all about uh, uh, not only the snow forecast and everything that's going on there, but we're also going to be talking about uh, the crashes that we've already seen. We've already gotten uh, reports of injury crashes tonight uh, across uh, Cascade County, uh, and in many areas it has been really rough on the roads uh, for many folks. So we'll see you tonight coming up on the 10 o'clock news uh, on MTN. We'll hope to see you then.